position. Problem is, the government wants to tax it all away. That's uh, in fact, uh, they want to raise, they want to triple, triple, triple the carbon tax on gas, heat, and groceries. This at a time when Vancouver's gas price has hit $2.40 a litre. And we learned today that Ontario will soon have a 10 cent a litre sudden spike in gas prices. This is exactly the wrong time for a tax hike. Will the government plans, uh, cancel its plan to triple, triple, triple the tax? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Speaker, I've already spoken today about one part of our government's solution that now enjoys support from all members of this House, and that is the GST tax credit. And I'd like to take this opportunity to call on all members of this House to support the other two elements of our plan. The $500 payment, one-off payment, to help Canadians struggling to pay their rent. Surely that makes sense to everyone and supporting Canadian kids to be able to go to the dentist. Who in this house thinks a child under 12 shouldn't go to the dentist just because their parents can't afford it? I hope we'll all support these wise measures. Honourable Leader of the Opposition. A thousand days ago today, the IRGC, a terrorist group, murdered 55 Canadian citizens. Yet, a thousand days later, it is perfectly legal for that same terrorist organization to raise money, coordinate, plan, and act right here in Canada. Unbelievable. Why? The Honourable Minister for Public Safety. I want to be unequivocally clear that we condemn the downing of PS752. We stood with those families. We unequivocally condemn the brutal murder of Masa Amini, and we stand with her family and with all of the women who are marching for their rights, Mr. Speaker. I want to be clear that Canada will never be a safe haven for any IRGC operative, for anyone who supports terrorists. We have taken tangible, consequential action, and we will continue to deliver consequences so that we can stand up for human rights here and around the world. That's the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. But Canada is a safe haven for this terrorist group, which killed 55 Canadian citizens by shooting down a civilian aircraft. The government has the legal authority today to list that group as a terrorist entity, banning it from raising money, operating, coordinating, or in other ways existing here in this country. A thousand days after this murder of our citizens, they have not done so. Why? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I would hope that all members are united in standing with the families of PS752, which is what we did right from the outset by repatriating bodies so that the families could grieve with them, which we did by creating pathways so that families could be reunited here in Canada, which is what we are going to continue to do in calling for consequences, real tangible consequences for those perpetrators of the downing of PS752. Mr. Speaker, we have listed the IRGC codes for us. We have ensured that Iran is listed as a state that supports terrorism, and we will deliver more sanctions to stand up for human rights here and around the world. The Honourable Member for La Prairie. Mr. Speaker, we need to 